again everyone this is Mr. Hoy. In this video we're going to be again going with that golf ball example we've been working with throughout this this problem set and we're going to be determining the x-intercepts and describing their meaning in the scenario. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our function here and when we're looking for x-intercepts what we're looking for are y values of zero. So in this case instead of having a traditional x and y we have instead a t and h. So instead of y being 0, we're going to make the h value 0. So we're going to start here, make the h value 0. We get 0 equals negative 16t squared plus 100t. Now, there's another um, example where I show how to find this on a graph. In this example, we're going to use the factoring method where we want to take out the largest factor of these two numbers that we possibly can as well as a common variable t out of both of those as well. So in this case, we can take out a negative 4 and the letter t. We're left then with 4t minus 25. At that point, we have two factors. We have this factor here and this other factor here. We set each of those individually equal to 0. Negative 4t equals 0. Divide off the negative 4 from both sides and we get t equals 0. It's going to be one of our intercepts. It's going to be 0, comma, 0. Over here, we want to set 4t minus 25 equal to 0. You add the 25 to both sides. You get 4t equals 25, and you divide by 4, and you'll get 6.25 on both sides, leaving you with an intercept of 6.25, comma, 0. What this means in this circumstance is that after 0 seconds, the height is zero. And after 6.25 seconds, the height is zero again. If we're talking about the flight of a golf ball, this makes sense. Before the golf ball is hit, at zero seconds, the ball is sitting on the ground. And in this case, at 6.25 seconds, the ball is coming back down to the ground. So this is sort of the more important of the two answers. This one can be assumed from the equation. This one's gonna require our solving or our identifying with a given graph. So again, when you're doing these examples, you want to do the math, you want to factor here and solve the individual factors, but you also want to stop for a moment, reflect on the question you're talking about, and look to see whether the answers make sense and whether the answers are relevant. This answer specifically is more relevant because it's not something we can infer from the situation or from the equation at the start. It's something we actually have to solve for or, again, identify in a graph. 